I know y'all going to think I'm crazy, but it is what it is. And we do what we do. So sorry to the people. I don't even know if I'm sorry, but, you know. I know these shoes cost a lot of money, but let me tell y'all the method behind what y'all would consider my madness. And these right here, I wore these all the time my senior year in high school. So when I grew in my revelation and understanding of Christ, maybe like three years ago, I randomly just started getting rid of a lot of brand names in my closet, you know, like true religion, because, you know, of course it represents something that doesn't align with your beliefs. And y'all know we live in this fallen world where literally everything can be evil real quick. However, I just found out not too long ago that Nike is the name of a goddess. This is all Googleable. <laughs> it's right there. Um, and the brand Nike was built off of a dream that was given to a man. And the owners of Nike was like, what does Nike mean? And he said, a Greek goddess, that means victory. And literally, they decided to go with the name Nike. So every time you're wearing this Nike check, you represent the Greek goddess of victory. And I just found out that, and I decided, I think I heard about it years ago, but now I'm actually like, you know what? In the book of Acts, when they came to know Jesus Christ, they put up all the magic books and the magic arts that they spent thousands and thousands of dollars on. That stuff was expensive, I heard. Um, it just said it was expensive in the Bible for what I um, know as of now. But I had to ask myself, do I like Nike more than I like Jesus you know, if I found out this knowledge and I continue to wear these shoes, I don't think this, a lot of y'all gonna say that's just personal conviction. I don't think it's a personal conviction. I think point blank period, like a lot of stuff we be doing is not just personal. I'm gonna put the shoes in separate garbage. <laughs> but you know, Jesus tells us to take up our cross and follow him. You know what that means? We're gonna deny our flesh. The flesh gonna want you with these nice shoes, like these nice green and orange shoes that my mama bought me that I really like a lot. But he even told the rich man, he say, pick up, um, sell all your things and give it to the poor and follow me. He didn't want to do it. And he said, it's easier for a rich man to enter. It's easier for a camel to enter through a needle than a rich man to get into heaven. I personally don't think it was because the man was rich, but because he wasn't willing to give up what he had to follow Jesus. Sometimes we love the things of this world more than we love Christ. So I'm just putting this out there. I mean, the world's so wicked. It's like, what, what, you, what you gonna wear? Cause everything got something demonic, you know? But <laughs> I'm just being bold to post this. So y'all know this is, this is real. That's how we ended the night. I like Puma anyway, <laughs> but I'm a, um, I got to look into them too, because I really like Puma, but you know, it is what it is. <sighs> this is why we need more people who have the same beliefs as us inside of the world dominating in certain areas. So, you know, we can feel comfortable doing certain things. Please don't start that. I'm a Christian, but dot, dot, dot in my comments, cause just go read the Bible and tell me what you think then.